We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, thanks very much. Now, you know Giannis Adentacumpo has one of sports' best nicknames, the Greek Freak. He said, when I first heard it, I was like, what's going on? Why am I a freak now? But then I realized it was about my athleticism and the things I can do. And so I embraced the nickname. I love it. And it's a part of me now. Kevin? It's a terrific one. David thanks. He does stand out. Wow. <laughs> now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. And it's Gafford in at the center position. And for the Bulls, Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Green is out there with Vucevic, and it's Ball in at the point. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. Now, here's Ball. Five to shoot. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is. Is gone. Taking two shots. That free throw missing. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin? They just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid range or hurt you from deep. Good on the second free throw. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now here's Allen. DeRozan with the rebound. A stupendous finish in traffic. You know, the athleticism is obvious when you look at DeRozan's game, but he also has tremendous strength and wasn't much the defender could do there. Now, here is Holiday, his last outing with 20 points, and he gets it to go. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. To the inside, Green, and it's Green with the jam. Oh, such a terrific pass. He seems to have a sixth sense. Nice feel, which is hard to teach. Middleton outside. The pass to Kumbo. Back to Middleton from past the arc. And it's at the Kumbo picking up the assist. Three point. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. DeRozan scanning the floor. Good that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. Their starters had to take an early stint on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Bucks have gone two or three here to start out the game. Allen passes to Giannis. To Rosen against Middleton. Holiday inside the line. And another basket for Milwaukee. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. 
The wide open look here for DeRozan. Buries the long range jumper. DeRozan's got five. You know, when DeRozan's able to connect from there, it really opens up the floor for his teammates. Here's Giannis. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You know, you're going to have to you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, the they've been the great. That's the way Giannis you like to start. And Greg, even with teams shooting daring Giannis one. to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30% and still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. Find the lane. But it's Find the been lane. said before, if he One adds shot. the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. And that one misses. And Giannis's journey, G.A., so incredibly compelling, a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie? Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Now here's Giannis. You talk about a player who can absolutely That's light it great. up. He averages over 31 yeah, points a game. Uh, beyond the leaning, First, you can see foul. his feet more set on that screen easy call yeah i agree you know sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make but not that time it was easy there here's ball he provides a good amount of offense for the team averaging around 11 and a half points a game levine's shot is off well you know he wants that one back i mean more often than not he'll sink that mid-range jumper and that one's good out of the kumbo Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Now here's DeRozan. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. DeRozan with it. Defended by Middleton. And it's DeRozan missing. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. But, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. The Bucks working the ball around. Great reflexes to get a hand on that pass and go the other way with it. Levine's shot is off. Bucks leading by three. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. The shot by Holiday, no good. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Here's DeRozan. Knocks down the step back, Jay. DeRozan's got seven. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Holiday finds Allen. Back to Holiday. Passes it to Middleton. Now Gafford, six on the shot clock. Back to Holiday. Stolen by Ball. With the floater, and that one is good. And Ball showing you nice activity on the defensive end there. Causing problems because of that reach and the quick hands. Middleton inside the three-point line, and that's good for two. Middleton's got his second basket of the night. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Now, here's Anadokounmpo, and that yeah, one drops. Giannis has got his third basket of the night right there. From role player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body strength has really been a factor in his overall development. Here's Ball. Over Holiday. Rebounded by the Bucks. Anadokounmpo looking over the floor. Pass to Middleton. Poked away. Allen outside. No good with the triple. Bulls trail by three. Number three, Levine trains the three-pointer. Levine has always had a nice feel for his catch-and-shoot jump shots. 
His teammates encourage him to shoot it every time he gets an opportunity to. Now here's Middleton. 23 points for him the last game against Boston. And he caused major problems with his defense as well. He had four steals by the time the game was over. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the bull. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. Another big component of their game early on has been their execution on the fast break. They're getting a bunch of easy baskets, pushing it in transition. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic, and it's Alex Caruso in for Green. And then for Milwaukee, Brooke Lopez is checked in for Daniel Gafford. Bobby Portis comes in for Chris Middleton, and Porter subbed in for Allen. Now here's Porter, and you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Lopez against Drummond, clock at four. From deep three-point range, and again, the Bucks miss. Just doing the job on the back door. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Levine kicks the ball. Caruso, the pass to Levine, and he banks in the layup. Levine's got five. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. On the wing, Porter. Will it go? Trains it from beyond the arc. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Ball against Holiday. Back to Caruso. And stolen by Portis. Here's Porter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on DeRozan. And with Kevin Porter Jr. And Michael Porter Jr. And Otto Porter Jr. Guys, I'm sensing a pattern here. <laughs> it can even get a little confusing at times, but no relation that I'm aware of. They're just Porters, Juniors, and quality NBA players. Free throw good, Porter. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for ball. He hits both from the strike. Look, we've seen Kevin Porter Jr. go off for 50 in a game. He's got some serious skills on the offensive end. Over in the corner, Caruso. Outside, Levine. Hangs home the trifecta. He's got eight. Levine with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here is Holiday. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Porter against Caruso. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First person. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfish. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, take a who break. does it. Take a break. They're all in it two to shots. win championships. A total team mindset.
And the first one at the line is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. And no good that time. Nice D from Levine. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched skyhook, which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. change here. Washington's checked in. And let's take a quick look now at some stats here for Holiday. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. He's putting up about 21 points per seven assists and five rebounds. And every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench, and, and that's just what he brings. Well, he's instant offense. I mean, the game's momentum can be going one way, then bam, the scoring turns the tie. Two Pass to Caruso. Over Porter. Two minutes. Caruso, no good. Bucks trail by four. Outside Holiday kicks it to Porter. Caruso against Portis. Dishes to Giannis. The pass to Washington. Here's the teardrop. It's hauled in by the Bull. In the corner, it's Levine. And the three off target. Milwaukee's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. The shot by Holiday, no good. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Moving it up. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. DeRozan's got 11 points. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now, here's Porter. He has six. There is it from about 10 Kevin feet away. Porter Jr. He's got eight. With Porter Jr., I think it's about shot selection. Taking smart shots, including when he's in close. That's it five from 18. He squares up and sinks it. And it's 13 points for DeMar DeRozan. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Holiday, the pass to Antetokounmpo. The kick out to Holiday. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. This is clearly an area Holiday wants to improve. When he is knocking it down from deep, the floor opens wide up for him. Washington against DeRozan. Over Washington, and again it's DeMar DeRozan. And the Bulls lead by five. 
Well, it takes unique skills to be able to not be bothered by defensive pressure. And DeMar DeRozan is that kind of guy because he loves taking tough shots. And he makes most of them. And so is DeMar DeRozan taking highlights for the Chicago Bulls. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. so far halfway through the first half in this one and from what we've seen so far from the Bulls what's your take yeah in that first period they look to push in transition at every opportunity yeah I like the way they play they're looking to get up and down the court every time racehorse basketball here tonight strap it up don't look down you'll miss something and you hear the term point forward but then Greg you had Magic Johnson 6-9 but still a point guard so what's the difference well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Porter is out there with Allen, and it's Ibaka in at the five down low. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Antetokounmpo. And, you know, he is unafraid, Antetokounmpo. So good at measuring up the defense, sizing him up, and then keeping his focus. Back to White. Right wing. Ball from long range. The rebound by Ibaka. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. outside the shot drops Kevin his shooting percentage improves he's three for seven now with that best tell you what if he can find some consistency from deep Porter Jr. is going to be a nightmare as an offensive player and it's DeRozan missing and so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. they haven't allowed any points in the second quarter launches a three rebound by the Bulls Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Milwaukee making a switch. Lopez is checked in. At the line for Chicago, Lonzo Ball shooting one. And at 6'6", Ball, very similar to Jason Kidd in terms of the vision that he plays the game with. His IQ is off the charts. Now here's Middleton. He has five. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Middleton's got his third bucket of the night. Ball kicks to DeRozan. Back to Ball. is it to Vucevic back to ball and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line well it's a must to avoid fouling ball I mean he's excellent at taking him to the defense and drawing the contact and this is his third trip to the line tonight he's hit his free throws at a pretty good clip this year 77 percent guys I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year That's good from Ball. And he can't hit the second. You know, you can't say enough about how important Brook Lopez was to the Bucks 2021 title run. He gave that team an element they needed to get over the top, particularly as a rim protector and a guy who could score when needed. Now, here's Lopez. He's still scoreless so far in this one. It's Porter outside. Kevin it's Porter good from Jr. long range. 
three. And the Bucks lead by one. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Back to ball. Out to the right wing. A wide open look here for Vucinic. It's good. The assist that time from ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. When Lopez Clark arrived in Milwaukee in 2018, it was a pretty good union, wasn't it? I agree, Kevin. I mean, he opened up their offense with his ability to stretch the floor as a big guy who can knock down threes, and then he really improved defensively and became an elite rim protector. The Bucks became a lead power when Brooke Lopez arrived, and the title came just a few years later. No coincidence. And here are the Bulls now. Following the three by Milwaukee. White looking around over Allen. And it's White missing. Milwaukee's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Quarter passes to Allen. Back to Porter. From outside the arc, no good, shot missing. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Ball with a wide open look. That three off the mark. For Milwaukee, they've gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Well, Porter has tremendous talent and is very creative. He's good at getting his guys the ball when they're ready to score. A good passer because he's got good vision. Now, here's Ball. Ten points for him. And it looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Hey, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Milwaukee. The Bucks working the ball around. Lopez inside. Vucevic on him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Chicago. On Friday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Sunday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. You know, some might look ahead at the schedule and start marking off how many wins they'll wind up with. But I think that's a trap. You can't take any nights off in the NBA, and you've got to stay in the moment. Uh, you know, Lopez, to me, is what you think of when you hear the term stretch five, a center with some real deep range. And he sinks the second. Bulls trail by four. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. Outside, White. This one for three. DeRozan's shot is good. DeRozan's got 18 points in the game. Oh, I tell you what, guys, there's so many different ways DeRozan can beat you. When he's hot, he's a cop. Here's Middleton. The shot, no good. Nice D from DeRozan. Green kicks to DeRozan. Outside, White. Back to DeRozan. Outside, Green. Down low, here's White. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call. He will shoot two. First, let's get some information from the 2K leaderboard. And about the last 10 games in the NBA, during that span, these teams have the most second chance points in the league. Number five, the Bulls. <laughs> Really something to see. Their effort on the offensive glass has just led to so many second chance opportunities. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. Chicago making a switch here. Levine's checked in. And 
that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Porter finds Middleton. Back to Porter. Allen surveying the D. Outside Porter. And the foul on Daniel Gaffer. Daniel That's Gaffer. foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Third team. Drummond's checked in for Javante Green. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for the Bucks. Vucevic has got the ball here for Chicago. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Levine for three. Hits the three-point pop. Levine's got 11 points. Levine is such a really good shooter from deep. You can't allow him to be alone at the arc. Pass to Allen. Looking to end the run. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. For Middleton's got his third assist on the night. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Now, here's Ball. He's got 10. And it's Chicago scoring again. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Middleton against Levine. Now, here's Porter. 17 points in the game. Just five on the clock. Here's Washington. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Chicago leading by three. Right side, Levine. Pass to Vucevic. And the shot goes down. Vucevic has got his second basket. Well, that's just strength there. That's what we call weight room. The power of Vucevic on display. Time out called the Bucks. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency. Solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double-digit rebounds for the last five years. Caruso's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Drew Holiday is checked in for Allen. Here's Holiday. Seven points in the game. Middleton outside. And there's the pass to Washington. Six to shoot. Outside Holiday for three. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. This is one of the things that makes Holiday so, so good. He's able to concentrate at a high level, even when the defense is right there. Now here's Vucevic. 23 points for him the last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And not just the scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense, grabbing three steals on the night as well. Here's Washington. After the made shot from Nikola Vucevic. Back to Washington. Here's Middleton. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shots. I mean, shot hungry 
is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has mid-range and long distance. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Chicago's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Here's Levine, and it's Chicago scoring again. Levine, a primetime threat to knock down those mid-range jumpers. Porter passes to Middleton. Back to Porter. Passes it to Holiday. It's three pointers off the mark. The Bulls leading by four. Here's Caruso. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. You know, Zach Levine is not just a score. He's really good at setting up his teammates, too. Outside Porter. Pass to Gafford. Middleton looking it over. He kicks it to Holiday. A three-pointer, no good. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. I, I think you're right. I mean, up fake here or there, getting the ball inside, that's how you create high-percentage offense. And that one's good, Caruso. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Porter. 17 points in the game. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You know, he started the game knocking down shots, guys. And now in the second quarter, he's taken it to another level. The Bucks have converted four of seven free throws on the night. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for the bowl. What's up? Milwaukee also making some changes. Bobby Portis comes in for Daniel Gafford. And Ami Takumbo subbed in for Chris Middleton. And he needs to get back to what he was doing in that first quarter when he was in attack mode, drawing fouls and getting to the line. Now here's Caruso. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Levine up top, covered by Giannis. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine, it's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. The Bulls have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And typically a strength of their 79% on the season. That's been one of the strongest aspects of this team this season. I mean, there have been very few off nights for them at the free throw line. Free throw good, Levine. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. And so Levine nails both of them. An all-star caliber talent now in the league, Levine has shown a real fire and hunger to continue to improve. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. And he gets it to go, Giannis hitting off the back of the rim. Giannis has got four points now in the quarter. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Back to Caruso. He dishes it to Vucevic. Shoots over Washington. And the Bulls with another miss. Bucks trail by five. Left side, Porter. Outside Holiday. Shoots over Dosumu. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Fantastic job moving the ball there by Porter Jr. Understanding exactly what was available when his teammates were open. Here's Dosumu. Off target from three-point range. Buck shooting a sweet 57% clip in quarter number two. Porter, no luck. Here's Caruso, has to do sooner. Levine for three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime.
Bowls ahead, up by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're overshifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Please give a big round of and after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. And Milwaukee has possession. They trail by three. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. Alex Caruso out there with Green, and it's Ball in at the point guard position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Now here is Holiday, stolen by Ball. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Ball's running. Levine wide open. No good from outside. Bucks trail by three. On the wing, Porter. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Three points. Giannis has got his third assist on the night. Outside to Rosen. Porter against Levine. That shot misses. Ice D from Porter. And the pass to Gafford. For the lead. And it's good on the way in. Gafford. Gafford's got his first points of the night. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Ball, the pass to Caruso. And the foul on Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. That's his first foul. Vucevic checked in for the Bulls. The Bucks also with the sub. Allen's checked in. Institution on the court. Levine against Allen. Now here's Levine. Defense right on him. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And bringing the fight there. Levine fearless. Creating contact for the potential plus one. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he attacked, got to the line a bunch and cashed in on his chances. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity strike when he gets his opportunity. Allen outside. Kicks to Holiday. Passes to Allen. Good, and the assist goes Reese to Middleton. Allen. Middleton's got his fourth assist in this one. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Now here's Levine. He's got 18. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. And to Takumbo. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pain. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Ball surveying the defense. Five on the clock. Here's DeRozan. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. DeRozan's got 20 points. Oh, man. DeRozan, his interior game, worthy of much respect. When he gets the ball in a good spot, he goes to work. Now here's Allen. He's got seven. And here is Gafford. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Out of the Kumbo trying to break loose. Allen, that's good. And that's now nine points for Allen. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Got him up in the air with the pump fake and then took advantage. 
You know, I look at DeRozan, and one of the things I like most about his game is that he really employs the mid-range shot. And it's a lost art for most other players. Now here's Allen. Nine points in the game so far. And Middleton, the bucket on the assist by Allen. Middleton's got 11. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Here's Ball. He's got 12. And DeRozan kicks to Ball. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Milwaukee leading by three. Middleton outside. To the middle. Allen shot is off. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Check out the body control from DeRozan there, guys. I mean, clearly there's contact, but it's almost impossible to affect his shot. Timeout called the Bucks. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Baca comes in for Chris Middleton. And the Bucks with possession here. It's a one-point game. Holiday surveying the floor. The wide open look here for Lopez. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Now, here's Ball. 12 points for him. One thing you got to love about Grayson Allen is his confidence. For sure, and every good player has great confidence. And with Grayson, it shows up beyond the arc. I mean, we've watched him naturally morph into a volume three-point shooter and every team values having a guy like him because he can really stretch the floor and create good spacing for your offense here's DeRozan drops it in from 11 feet 26 points for DeMar DeRozan impeccable mechanics this quarter he's been perfect from the field Giannis against DeRozan inside stolen by ball to White for the lead. Buries it from three-point range. White's got five men. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Chicago. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Rocket two, stolen by Ball. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. Oh, boy, I tell you what, Ball doing a nice job using his size down in the post, rising up above his defender to get that one to go down. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Lopez outside. To Rosen against Holiday. Giannis passes to Allen. Down to five on the shot clock. Over White. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for Chicago. They lead by four. Out to White. Ball, 
The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Allen. Giannis outside. Pass to Holiday. Kicks it out to Allen. Shoots over to Rosen. Here's Ibaka, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. At times in his career, Ibaka has looked out of control when forced to finish through defenders. That time, keeps his poise and reaps the benefits. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84% on the season. I don't think you really can say enough about the work he's put in and the massive strides he's made in his free throw shooting, guys. I mean, his numbers are way up this year. Free throw good, Serge Ibaka. One of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league. But that wasn't always the case for Ibaka. He has put in a ton of work. Now here's DeRozan. 26 points for him. Drummond dishes to DeRozan. Shoots over Portis. Offensive rebound. There are few men in the league that attack the glass as well as Drummond does. He's almost unstoppable chasing down second points. He's a tenacious and ferocious offensive rebound. Here's Giannis. He's got 12. Allen kicks to Giannis. Outside Holiday. And they're unable to get the time basket there. DeRozan against Portis. Outside White. Now the pass to Dosuna. Got a piece of it. On deep. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got six rebounds now in the game. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. You know, I think you got to push Giannis further away if you're the defender there. I mean, he's just too big of a threat inside. Now, here's Dosumu, guarded by Holiday. And DeRozan kicks to White. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And, well, he's been the NBA's leader in blocks multiple times. Ibaka just has that rare instinct for him. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Is getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice Second look at it after foul. drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to Shooting get an and the one there. He's all one from, from the line, missing ball. on his first trip. Two shots. with that one a multiple time MVP you know what's really scary is that Giannis feels like he can keep getting better and more importantly he does the work to get better Alex Caruso he's checked in for Kobe White Washington's checked in for the Bucks. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Chicago's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak.
Already in February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You look at Chicago. They continue to play strong basketball, not utterly dominant as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, Milwaukee sitting in second place. And I think for the Bucs, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoffs will be stiff. Here's Holiday after the Bulls pick up two. Pass to Washington. Outside Holiday sinks the three-pointer. Holiday's got 15. You know, he's often the setup guy, but Holiday gives you just as much, maybe even more, as a terrific finisher. And DeRozan kicks to Green. Pass to Dosunmu. A floater. No good that time. Great D that time from Portis. Outside Holiday. Allen outside. Pass to Portis. Takes the three. And another three for Milwaukee. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non existent. Outside DeRozan. The pass to Dosuma. Lock at six. Let's the three fly. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Dosunmu's got his first three points of the game. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Now here's Allen. Nine points in the game so far. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. DeRozan is deceptive in his height and quickness, so I think it makes him hard to guard, especially from this area. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still... An underrated superstar. First one falls for. Him. Well, the elevated playmaking from DeRozan has been a revelation of late. An all-around threat who still feels underappreciated by many, and I think that drives him quite a bit. And the Bulls making a change here. Levine's checked in, and Milwaukee also making a switch. Chris Middleton's checked in for Grayson Allen. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Milwaukee's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Stolen by Levine. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Chris Middleton. Levine does a really good job attacking. He plays with fearlessness and able to draw the foul as a result. For Chicago, they have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. At the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw good, Levine. Good on the second, so he makes them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. And with the free throw percentage hovering around 70, he knows he has to bring that up. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any red flags or to become alarmed about it.
the free throw. No good. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. This is something DeRozan does all too well. I mean, presses the issue, forces the issue, and then gets the defense to overcommit. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. Both free throws good from DeRozan. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Caruso against out of the Kumbo. Picks it down to Middleton. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for the Bulls. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And we'll be back with you shortly. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the board for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Giannis and Middleton are the wings. Portis is out there with Daniel Gaffer. And it's Holiday in at the point guard. Now here's Levine. And stolen by Portis. To the paint. Here's Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Andre de has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Ball against Holiday. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls, Lonzo Ball. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Ball hits them both. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now, here's Ball. Vucevic up top. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's Caruso. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain Old possession. Basketball. Shot clock at five. The open shot. Levine. 
Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Gets a hand on it. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip-in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Definitely. You're not going to make plays like that unless you expend the energy. Left side, ball. Over Holiday. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. And here's Giannis from outside. It's all in by the Bulls. Levine's got six rebounds now in the game. Ball finds Caruso. Back to Ball. Passes it to Drummond. Shot clock at six. Down low. Pulls up on the elbow. Levine's shot is off. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Pass to Gafford. Back to Middleton. Over Levine. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton. Middleton's got four points this quarter. Middleton rolling. Not only are the timeout. shots continuing to come, most of them are falling, too. Chicago calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Making a switch here. Green's checked in. Allen's checked in for the Bucks. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack. And he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. From downtown, good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got five assists tonight. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he beat up? Ball kicks to Levine. Over Allen. Levine's shot is off. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in the game. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Levine. Bounce pass, Holiday. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Chicago ball. Jamar DeRozan. He's checked in for the Bulls. The game for your ball. The ball. The Rosen. Back to ball. Vucevic to the pass to Levine. Puts it up. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. Now it's just a three-point Bucks lead. Boy, how about Levine cooking these defenders? He's a lot of fun to watch. Allen outside. Here he goes. Green with the rebound. 
And so Green will bring it up for Chicago. He kicks to Levine. Lost to DeRozan. On the top of the key, again, Chicago. Well, this is exactly DeRozan's role. He's a natural-born scorer, and he does it in a lot of different ways. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Here's the pass to Gaffer. Just five to shoot. Looks for Holiday. Gets it to him. Good work there as it goes. And the Bucks lead by three. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard. Does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. Here's DeRozan. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. DeRozan's got 34 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now the feed to DeRozan. Second chance shot, and that's two points on the lane. DeRozan's got 18 points just in the second half. The Bucs have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. And Holiday kicks to Allen. Passes it to Middleton. Outside Holiday. Oats one up. Can't hit that one. Chicago trailing here. Knocks it loose. Gafford with the ball. Now defended by Levine. Middleton the pass to Holiday. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. Some nasty handles from Holiday, leaving the defense shaking its head and all. Green the pass to DeRozan. Over Middleton. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Green. Green's got assist number five here tonight. Allen outside. Pass to Portis. And Levine comes to help. Allen against Ball. Allen shot is off. For Chicago, they've gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Levine kicks to Ball. To tie it up. And no good. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Allen with it. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Taking two shots. And that one misses. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And he's good on the second. Bulls trail by three. On the wing to Rosen. Over Middleton. The step back jumper is good. DeRozan's got 40 points. The determination that DeRozan brings to scoring in the painted area, really unmatched. He's not going to mess up too many of those chances. Nobody near Allen. And yet, finally drops after rolling around the rim. And the Bucks lead by three. Holiday against Ball. Kicks to Levine. Shoots over Portis. Levine, good. Levine's got six here in this quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. 
Allen passes to Holiday. And another three from Milwaukee. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Outside DeRozan. Back to ball. Pass to Levine. Four on the shot clock. And the layup's good off the glass. Time out, time out. points for him. And you can see the confidence there. Kevin just oozing out of him. Levine knows he can get his shot in almost any situation. And that's a big one for the team. Time out called the Bucks. You know, he can see his squad was losing momentum, losing steam. Smart timeout to let them catch their breath and reset. His three-point shooting has been on point tonight. He's knocked down four from beyond the arc on very efficient shooting. That elevated his game, and I think it set him apart from the other guys out there. Clearly, he stood out based on that performance. Giannis, he's checked in for Portis. Milwaukee in the lead. Middleton outside. The pass to Allen. Kicks it down to Middleton. Passes it to Holiday. Offensive rebound. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bull. Levine's shot is off. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And Kaplan throws it down. Middleton, the score by nature. That time showing he can find his teammates, too. And Chicago shooting at 51%. Really so. Here's DeRozan. Great D that time for Middleton. Bucks leading by four. Outside Holiday. They grab their own miss and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. You can tell that Giannis takes pride in his activity level, the way he plays, his intensity level. And you see the result of that activity on second chance buckets like this. Now, here's DeRozan. Milwaukee with the rebound. Allen outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Zach Levine. Personal foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Bucks. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple after triple. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty, and it's over. 
Bucks leading by seven. Here's onto Takumbo. Giannis jumps it down. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. It's Allen, top of the key. Pass to Middleton. Just five on the clock. Back to Holiday. Here's the three. Hits it from three-point range. Holiday. Holiday's got three. the lead up to 10 now for the Bucks. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something. I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, to be a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think uh, the whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready. Everybody stepped up. And, you know, this is what makes uh, an average uh, team from a great team or a good team. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.